Let's uh, bow our heads for prayer. Father in heaven, thank you for this time. Please keep our minds sharp as we talk about uh, uh, practical ways for us to be filled with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Good thing that was a short prayer because I forgot I had a translator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, number six. Uh, just to review, number one was make a decision. Pray earnestly, number two. Number three, choose a version. Number four, choose verses. Five, sell all that you have. Spiritually speaking. Everything in the way. 자, 모든 방임을 다 제거하세요. Do everything possible. 가능한 모든 걸다 하세요. And number six is memorize by short, repetitive exposures. 자, 짧은 걸 외우시는데 그걸 반복해서 하시는데 그걸 계속 노출되셔야 돼요. You know how a film camera takes pictures. 자, 그 <웃음> 필름 드라이빙 카메라 있죠? 그거 어떻게 사진 찍는지 아세요? 과학적으로? There is a shutter and it lets in light and then it closes. Is that true? Yes. And then it makes the image on the film. <coughs> so photography is all about light. The Bible is light. And our brains are like the film. If we make short, repetitive exposures, whenever we have time, we will remember it. Sometimes, this is where it's interesting, okay? When something is darker, the shutter has to stay open longer. To, to absorb the light. So, the best way to memorize is to understand and see the brightness and beauty of the verse first. That's why it's important to choose verses that you love. They will be easier to remember. The shutter has to stay open for a short time. If it is very dark and you have no idea what it's saying, then you will go over and over and over and the shutter will stay open for a long time. <laughs> okay. um, it takes longer to memorize a verse that you don't understand. When the verse is not bright to you, the shutter on the camera has to stay open a long time when it's at night. Oh, I got it, I got it. Okay, you want to tell them? Oh, sure. Okay. So, the light is bright, you have to close the camera for a long time. If you don't understand the camera, you have to close the camera for a long time. But if you don't understand the camera, you have to close the camera for a long time. Thank you. He's doing a great job, isn't he? Yeah, he's... It's hard. Joyo, come sum it up. So, Short, using short repetitive exposure, simply reading the verse and exposing your mind to the verse. Some people make a joke and they say that everybody has a photographic memory. But then they say, but I am out of film. <laughs> but it's not true. <laughs> if it's if your brain is exposed to it, you will remember it. It takes discipline. <laughs> is this web page more important than this memory verse? 여러분이 지금 보고 있는 그 웹페이지보다 성경체를 외우는 것이 더 중요하겠죠. 
I've already checked my email 10 times. Do I need to check it again? Do I need to write an email to ask someone to email me? Or do I pull out my verse back? Everybody can memorize. We need to expose our minds to the Word of God. Just take a phrase or a word at a time. And in our minds, say it over and over. And then, without looking, keep saying it. And after about 20 or 30 seconds of saying that phrase without looking, it will transfer into the short-term memory. According to Neil Nedley, MD. Yeah, it seems to work for me. Then add a phrase and repeat that phrase with the previous phrase. Just read it over and over. Don't get stressed. Don't start sweating. Don't get a stomach ache. Just read it. Think about it. Pray about it. Ask God what it means. Ask Him to make it light for you. Tell Him how it makes you feel. Tell Him how the verse makes you feel. Confess the sin that is revealed by that verse. Make that verse a part of your soul. Number seven. Learn the reference. Let me back up. Number six. Memorize each word perfectly. Don't paraphrase when you're memorizing. The Bible says don't add to and don't take away. <laughs> so number seven, learn where it's found in the Bible. You do this by saying the reference before and after you say the verse. For example, 자, 예를 들면요. 고린도 후서 5장 17절. 5장 들으셨죠? 누구든지 그리스도 안에 있으면 새로운 새로운 피조 물이라. Wow. In Christ we are a new new, new creation. 이전 것은 지나갔으니 보라 새 것이 되었도다. Where things passed away. Korindo Husa Ojang Shiptil Jo. Second Corinthian five seventeen. Before and after. Before after. Always. It's like like a subway sandwich. Okay. You know why they are called subway sandwiches, right? Because it looks like a subway train. Anyway. Okay, so that's what I think anyway. Okay, so the point is this. The bread on both sides are like the reference, and then the really delicious stuff is in the middle. If you ever forget either the reference or the words in the middle, you say what you know. And then it's tied. And it will follow. It really works. 
So learn the reference perfectly. And, and attach the first word to that reference. How do you learn numbers? Sometimes if it's a big number like you know, older than me, I imagine, I imagine my, what my life will be like at that age. Or if it's two numbers, I will add those two together or subtract them or multiply them just for fun. Any way I can use the numbers helps me to remember them. The other benefit of knowing what are the benefits of knowing the reference, by the way? We are living in the information age. People want information quick. They want to know your source. They have no time for just a vague general idea of where the verse is. They want to know where the verse is. And if you think maybe you misquoted the verse, if you know the reference, you can at least turn there in the Bible and check. Sometimes you can remember a whole chapter's contents because you know one key verse and reference. You remember what the whole chapter is about. You can start to link verses together. Sometimes when I present a lecture, God, God will bring verses together in my mind that I've never thought about together. So while someone is saying Amen, I am writing down so I don't forget later. <laughs> God has that power. If we put it in there, He can rearrange it like a recipe. He takes the raw ingredients. You can memorize hundreds of references by saying it before and after the verse. Number eight. Digest your verse for 40 days. Moses lived with spiritual food for 40 days on Mount Sinai without physical food. Israel was 40 years in the desert each day for a year that the spies were in Canaan, eating manna. Elijah did not eat for 40 days after feeding on food provided to him by an angel when fleeing from Queen Jezebel. And Jesus Christ did not eat physical food for 40 days, but instead he subsisted on spiritual food in the desert. If you memorize a verse every day, but you forget the old verses, you will probably stop memorizing. So each day for about 40 days, Say the entire verse with the reference before and after at least once perfectly.